What? What's going on? What is that? Oh, it's a street sign. Do not enter. Alright, that's the transfer paper. Press it down. Cut, cut. Squeegee, squeegee, squeegee. Rolling out the EGP reflective vinyl. That goes on the back of the sign. Uh, here we apply it. Line her up. Yup. Throw her over. Pull her on. Simple. Here we trim in, turn, trim. Now we're gonna apply the do not enter. You do one side, fold it over, roll it on, skirt, come back the other way, flip it over, and roll it on. Oh look, TikTok sign in the background, wow. All right, last step, take off the transfer paper. Oh, you can do a little more, and that's it. Do not enter. What is he doing? What is that? Did I say Kaylee? What is, is that transfer tape? Yes, sir. That is a street sign. Custom street sign. And squeegee. Yes, sir. Cut, cut. Wow, look at those straight lines. Wow. You see that reflective vinyl? Wow, flip, cut. Yup. <laughs> All right, put it in the roller. Um, fold it under. Roll it one way, switch it up, roll it back. Oh, look at those, look at those signs in the background, they're glowing. Do I, do I sound like Lightning McQueen? No, line it up, yep, one side, there goes the other. Mm-hmm, wow, wow. Oh, reach for the camera, nope. Trim, so smooth. Take off the tape, and we're done. Kaylee! Welcome to Sign TikTok. Today, I will be walking you through how to make some custom street signs. So the first step here is weeding out the vinyl. That's just basically taking out all the extra shit. It's definitely my favorite part. It's super satisfying. It's really not that hard. You just stab yourself every once in a while, but other than that, it's freaking awesome. That is a transfer tape. You apply that and it transfers the vinyl from the paper onto the sign itself. And we use a squeegee to get the air bubbles out and to help the transfer tape stick. Here I'm cutting out the EGP reflective sheeting. This is the reflective part of the sign that goes behind the green vinyl. We use the roller to apply the vinyl onto the sheeting. And the vinyl is transparent so the sheeting uh, can reflect right through it. You gotta cut it out. It just makes it easier to line it up when you're applying it on the sign. Line up one side, then the other. And then you gotta hold your elbow on one side of the sign while you apply the other side so it doesn't move. Apply it with the squeegee. The goal here is just to get all those air bubbles out. Otherwise, you're gonna see them at the end and you have to redo the whole freaking thing. Cut off the excess on the sides. Take off the transfer tape. And that's it. Forest Hills Drive. Interact to see more.
Welcome to Sign TikTok. I'm going to teach you how to make signs. First, you got to weed out the extra vinyl. Then you apply the transfer tape, which transfers the vinyl onto the sign. You got to squeegee it to help it stick better. Then you got to cut it out to line it up better. Then you roll out the high intensity sheeting that goes on the back of the sign. That's the reflective stuff. Play with the knife a little bit. Then we apply the... What? What? <laughs> I can't, I can't help it. All right. Now we're gonna apply the high intensity. You peel off one side, roll it on, and then you flip the other side over, and then you roll that side on. It's pretty simple, super effective. All right, now we gotta trim off the excess vinyl. It's my favorite part for sure. Now what are we doing here? We're applying the vinyl on the sign, second to last step. Maybe I sound like Lightning McQueen a little bit, maybe I don't, I don't really know. It's all I've been told. Take off the transfer paper and we are finished. Ka-chow. Justin, you need these stop signs on a pack.